At the heart of the Society for Conceptual Logistics is the notion of concepts and their conceptions. Our flagship project is the Concept Database, where people can collaboratively share concepts they've invented, conceptions they're applying, and can look at the way that concepts and conceptions have been used in the past. The Concept Database has a very simple interface. In this example, we'll look at the concept of frame or frame theory to find out how different researchers have used the concept in their own work. The home page for the Society for Conceptual Logistics presents you with the primary interface for searching the database. If you click in the field and start to type in the concept frame, you'll notice the database starts to make suggestions based on what you're looking for. In this example, since we're most specifically looking at frames, there are eight entries that appear in the database that are specifically named frame. So by clicking on the suggestion, we are taken to the results. The database's search engine attempts to, prevent, to present the uh, most useful areas of analysis, and it presents these results in alphabetical order. Since we know we're looking for frames and frame theory, let's select frame from the results. There are eight entries in the concept database titled frame. They are presented in chronological order from oldest to newest. So for example, in 1975, Marvin Minsky used the concept of frame. If you click on the title frame, you're presented with Marvin Minsky's 1975 conception of the concept of frames. If we go back to the list and look at other entries, we can see that as time went by, Robert Entman, perhaps most famously used the word frame, Deborah Tannen in the same year, Irving Goffman, and as time goes forward, we can then look at what Charles Fillmore used in 2006. The results shown here take you to entries in the concept database where you can read how researchers are applying individual conceptions of frame. So, for example, if we want to look at Robert Entman's 2004 use of frame, we click on the entry's title, and as we go down the page, we can see on the left-hand side the submission that a member of Skulker has used, and you can read all about how Robert Entman used frame as a conception in 2004. On the right-hand side, you can see that there's a citation to the specific work in which Robert Edmund published his ideas. You can create a bibliography of this work. And then below that, you can see the embedded concepts. These are the concepts which are an integral part of Robert Edmund's 2004 conception of the idea of frame. And then you can see down here that the person who submitted this entry to the database believes this belongs to the research field of communication. As you scroll further down the page, another primary work of the Society for Conceptual Logistics is the notion of visualization. We're working very hard to provide tools that help users to visualize communication concepts, not just to simply read about them. And so in this example, you can see that the 2004 notion of frame is connected to other embedded concepts. And if you come up to events, you can see that frame in 2004 is related to ideas such as personal history and experience by their shared embedded concept known as events.